So that was Jenkins in 2001. Uh, this quote that I have up on the screen is from an article in The Economist, April 17, 2000. So around the time that Jenkins is writing about what he sees as the future of convergence. And I think the really interesting thing about this quote is it's also talk talking about this idea of convergence that was in the air that people were talking about in the late 90s, mid to late 90s, and early 2000s. But, but notice what The Economist says in this article, and it's really kind of Kind of amusing even to look at it. You know, uh, the internet was seen as making uh, the media business in the 21st century. It was going to slash costs, it was going to boost revenues, it was going to lower barriers to entry, but the internet has not lived up to these ho hopes. Uh, and see this quote from Ted Leon Leon uh, Leonsis, president of the Interactive Properties Group at AOL. America Online, which back in 2000 was a big deal, digital entertainment has been a failure. Well, um, that is not only a statement about the present as of 2000, it's supposed to be a statement about what we can expect to come, and, and uh, uh, obviously couldn't be any more wrong, could it? Um, Digital entertainment certainly is not a failure. Um, a quote like that doesn't and didn't anticipate Amazon, didn't anticipate Netflix, didn't anticipate Hulu. Um, so very interesting to see what people were thinking about at that time and not realizing what was going to really come about. Now here's a quote from about 10 years ago in The Economist, 2006. Now the uh, tune has changed by 2006. So five or six years on from that 2000 quote. Um, talks about convergence. What this means is the coming together of previously separate, separate communication and entertainment services. That's exactly what we mean by convergence. Um, and then notice this quote from someone at uh, British Telecom. The freedom for consumers to use any service under any circumstances they choose to. Again, that's a really nice uh, definition of what we're, what I mean by convergence in this class. Um, and, you know, this uh, quote by the guy from France, Telecom, we want to bring simplicity to our customers, the first step towards a digital paradise. Well, that certainly has resonance with what we looked at at the very beginning of our Internet Law class, the first module earlier this semester, which is this idea of, the, of cyberspace as something truly unique, as something truly exceptional. So this notion of, of media convergence is very much tied toward uh, with ideas of Internet exceptionalism. Now, I don't know how much this guy, D.D.A. Lombard, really... Uh, believed in internet exceptionalism, how much this is kind of marketing hype, but nevertheless, this is the the vision that it will be seamless, um, that you will have whatever media entertainment you want at your fingertips, uh, and it will it will be transparent as to the channel on which it comes comes from. Um, so whatever whatever the source of the media, whatever the ultimate way in which the media was created, it's not going to matter to you as the consumer because you're going to have immediate access to whatever you want. That, that's the, the at least the business vision or the, the quasi-utopian vision of media convergence. Here's another quote from just last year in The Economist. And the thing I want you to notice from this quote is that now... It, when it's speaking of, of these ideas about convergence, it has to include social networks. So even as of 2006, there's really not much of a focus in, in, in that particular article we looked at in The Economist on social networks. There's still this sense that there are going to be um, you know, pr providers of traditional kinds of entertainment. 
um, you know, movies or films or novels or short stories or whatever. Uh, and it's just going to be more accessible. But now w w there's a stronger sense of the role that social networks play in curating and cultivating and promoting uh, various kinds of media. Um, and so that goes along with uh, the user base. It goes along with the, the potential revenues and the advertising. So the revenues and the advertising are very much tied to the concepts that we're, we're looking at in this class of how media is accessed and used and how the law may or may not regulate it. The uh, question of advertising in that same uh, issue of the Economist, uh, which was which was an issue that focused on new media, um, had these graphs in them, which just show kind of traditional advertising spend, uh, um, you know, kind of classified ads, um, other television, newspaper, magazine, radio, and so on, um, and. And then uh, on the right side on your screen, the spend on social media type advertising. And what you can see when you look at these, these graphs is that the percentage of overall, first of all, overall advertising spend is, is dramatically increasing. And secondly, the, the percentage of overall advertising spend that is kind of traditional media to new media so if you look at the chart on the left, you know, television, uh, that kind of blue column, and internet, that kind of greenish column, almost the same amount uh, as of 2016-2017, uh, which is kind of an extraordinary thing to think about. Um, and then if you look at, at the right side, um, obviously the, the, the overall amount of social media spending is less than kind of traditional television or what we might call traditional internet advertising, but it's climbing. Um, so the, uh, of course, adver in, a, in the model in which we have done lots of kinds of media, uh, at least certainly television media, here in the United States, it's largely supported by advertising, and certainly the um, parts of at least the internet and the World Wide Web initially uh, in terms of business models, were supported by advertising. And of course, um, one of the most important parts of the web today, which is search, uh, dominated by Google, is supported significantly by, by advertising. So this question of where there is advertising revenue um, in, in terms of the market is very much going to influence the question of, of media convergence and how media is or isn't converging.